What's going on YouTube? It's Giga here bringing you some more Series 13 Wi-Fi Battles with Live Commentary. Today we are once again using this Daddy Zaru team uh, built by Harald HD. I really enjoyed using it last time and I, I just can't wait to play some more with it. Uh, so looking at my opponent's first team here, it is uh, Zashi and Victini with a Lunala, Incineroar, Kiram, and Regieleki. So I... Uh, let's do you and you lead with Calyrex and then probably Groudon. Uh, the main issue is Incineroar, um, ironically, because only because it has Fake Out, right? Like, you Fake Out my Zacian, it's a little bit awkward, and then if you set up Trick Room, right, like, we, we really don't like that. Um, we do have ways of dealing with it, right? We do have access. I should have led Calyrex. You know, you run him on with Imprison to stop what is about to happen, and then you forget that you have it. Um, so shout out to me for that one. Um, hopefully it's not Incineroar. Okay, it's Incineroar. Okay, Incineroar Curum I can work with. Um, this is totally fine with me, uh, right? We do have the ability just to set up um, a Tailwind. We can, we can go on the offensive, right? Um, we probably shouldn't, but we're, we're going to do that anyway, right? We can we can say, hey, we're going to uh, either get up a Tailwind or we're going to KO your Kiram. Um, it's not a fair trade at all. Oh, we have Protect. I don't... But yeah, let's just Protect. Um, let's just go for the double Protect. We have no reason not to. Um, even if you are to break my uh, thingy on... Kira, or on, um, what's it called? On my, da, 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 my, uh, Talonflame. That's the word. If, even if you break Talonflame scale wing, we're still the fastest thing, uh, barring Zacian, so that's, like, not a big deal. And we can, um, try and just, like, work with that. Um, so yeah, we'll, 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 we'll kind of see what happens here. I think we're in a good position, right, being able to, uh, immediately get some damage on Kiram. As we're gonna see, no max at all. So just, um, you know, just going straight for it. Um, it looks like they're they're acknowledging, hey, they're probably going to lose um, their Zacian. Is, yeah, it's going to go, or their Kirims. It's going into Zacian, followed by that Earth Power, right? Um, and so now I, I really want to set up uh, a Tailwind, just because we can, and then go for the Behemoth Blade onto the Kirim. You can protect at this point, right? You can protect uh, and go for a Parting Shot. Not ideal for me. But, um, yeah, it's not ideal for me. There's, there's a really no other way of putting that. Um, but that's fine, right? We, we still have Talonflame, uh, which can, uh, do things. I don't know what it's going to do. We're going to see the, the Kyurem actually withdraw into, I don't know what it's going to be. It's going to be, uh, Lunala. So this is actually really good, right? Because, uh, Lunala is just going to have to take a Behemoth Blade. We will be able to break that Shadow Shield. And also, if you uh, KO my um, Zacian, we do get a very free switch in uh, into our uh, Groudon, which can put on a lot of pressure, especially if we go for something like a dual wing beat into the instant roar to try and get some chip. As we will just see uh, a straight parting shot. That's totally fine with me, right? Like, you're probably going to want to bring out, um, what's it called? You're going to want to bring out, like, Kyurem. Um Maybe not Kiram. We are uh, at minus one attack at this point. We're going to see Victini, actually. So, a um, little scary. Also, leftovers on the Lunala. So, um, you know, not really sure what to expect here. Um, I'm going to go for the Overheat as well as the Behemoth Blade. Uh, if you choose to Final Gambit, like, that's fine. We could uh, very... We could potentially could lose our... Um, Zacian, as we're going to see no protect once again. Uh, I'm hoping that at this range we can get the knockout onto Lunala. I would really appreciate that, followed by a free switch in uh, into our Groudon. Right, Groudon would be great here being able to... Oh god, that is, that is, that is horrible. Um, everything about this is horrible right now. Um, uh... That's really bad too. Oh, because you broke Gale. Okay, you broke Gale Wings on Talonflame. 
Um, so that's really bad as well. Uh, we lose access to our priority. Um, okay, Moonlight is fine. Moonlight I can work with. Um, I think what we want to do is we want to just keep Lunala out of um, out of range of re-engaging that Shadow Shield. Um, I'm going to go for a... We're so... I need to switch. I'm going to switch into uh, Groudon and I'm just going to go for a Behemoth Blade onto this Lunala. Uh, we are losing PP, but if we can get in Groudon for free, uh, we can start firing off Big Max Quakes. We can Quake into the Ensign and switch into Calyrex to avoid the Shookaberry. And then that that slot that isn't Lunala, right, is going to be Kyurem, which we can take care of with Zacian very easily. Um, we just need to preserve our Behemoth Blades. Um, but if we can start setting up Quake Boost on the Groudon, right, we are in great shape. And then if we have Calyrex next to it, uh, that combination should be really good. We will, like I said, go for the Behemoth Blade. Honestly, probably not super relevant. Um, <coughs> as we just get a little bit of chip on the Lunala, I think it actually uh, will be able to recover fully. The Moon Guy's Beam coming out, so this is a little scary, right? Um, especially if it goes into the Groudon. It's going to go perfect into the Zacian. Um, I don't want to necessarily lose... Um, what's it called? I don't want to necessarily lose my Zacian... Uh, but we might have to, uh, no, cause you're not, you're not KOing it, which is really tricky, right? You're, you're essentially, uh, pinning this slot. So I'm, yeah, I'm just going to have to hard switch. I'm going to have to hard switch, uh, into my, um, what's it called? Into my Calyrex, just trying to get some damage up. And so the idea right now is, um, yeah, the Lunala just shy of, uh, where we want it to be. I'm going to go for a Quake. I'm going to go into, I'm going to go into the, no, I'm going to go into the, uh, no, no, I want to, I want to max you. I'm going to max Quake into the Curum. I'm going to hard switch into the Calyrex, uh, just with the idea that we can, uh, start firing off Astro Barrages. We should hopefully be able to get the knockout. And if we can make it so Lunala doesn't reset up its Shadow Shield, like that's great. Um, getting the boost on Cure or on Calyrex as well will also be really, really huge. Um, as we will send out Calyrex, um, and so yeah, the the big question now is is uh, what is my opponent going to do this turn? Uh, I'm hoping that we can survive a, a turn as we will just be able to to get really big um, with our um, what's it called with our Groudon. We're gonna see probably no max from my opponent as well. Um, so that's, that's good, right? We, we can uh, just fire off uh, a big chunk of damage with this Groudon, just trying to, to set up. Uh, still bummed we couldn't bring Zarud, but like there's there's uh, an ice type and two fire types. Like Zarud is not gonna have a good time. Uh, we will one-shot the Kyurem. So at this point, there's no really huge threat. We potentially are going to uh, go down to Sash on the uh, Calyrex if they go for a Moongeist Beam but they're most likely gonna recover here. Um, as we will, yeah, called it, right? We're gonna see that Moonlight. Um, if they bring out Ensign, I'm fine to uh, go for an Astro Barrage as well as, um, what's it called? An Astro Barrage as well as another Quake, right? We can try and just KO that Ensign, which is what I really care about. Um, don't know what my opponent is planning on maxing at this point, but we're, we're, we're also putting all of our eggs in the Groudon Lunala, or uh, Calyrex basket. <coughs> okay, it's gonna be Victini, so Victini is perfectly fine with me. Um, I'm gonna Quake, and I'm gonna go for an Astro Barrage. Uh, Calyrex is going to hit first. We could see a Scarf Victini. Um, we're gonna see the Lunala actually withdraw, so this is perfect for me, right? We um, will be able to get Chip onto um, both of these Pokemon. I should have targeted down the Lunala, saying, hey, it's gonna be Shadow Shield, but uh, it's not a big deal as Willow is going to be revealed uh, from this, this Victini, which is um, also Scarf, as we saw it moving before my Calyrex. Um, so that is potentially a little scary, as uh, we don't even one-shot it, unfortunately. But we, were, we are going to fire off a Max Quake, which should... Um, yeah, the, the Quake is going to get the knockout. And so what we can do at this point is um, we can... 
We have Z okay, we have Zacian. So the only thing I uh, care about at this point is getting rid of, um, what's it called? Getting rid of that Incineroar, right? Because then we have the ability uh, to one-shot their um, their Lunala with a Behemoth Blade. So we we just need to um, keep putting on pressure, and if we can get rid of Incineroar, we're fine. So I'm going to quake into that slot as well as go for um, a big Astro Barrage. If they have Wide Guard, uh, that makes things really tricky, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, we can fodder Talonflame if need be, um, but we don't. Yeah, we we don't have any. Op we don't have good damage if they go for Wide Guard. Um, but if that's the case, we break Shadow Shield on Lunala. Um, we will just see a straight protect come out here. Um, that's that's fine with me. Astro Barrage, just going to keep getting chip onto this Ensign. Um, we do have Focus Sash, which is going to be uh, very, very relevant. And so now, yeah, after that, it's at half. So I don't I don't think that Groudon uh, will be able to KO, unfortunately, just due to the burn and the minus one. Uh, or we do get the... Okay, perfect. And now at this point, right, we, we can single target into the Lunala. It does have Shadow Shield activated, um, but we will be able to just outpace it using... Um, well, oh, you lived. Sad. Uh, I thought we knocked it out. It was It's at one. Um, Calyrex going to go down to the Sash here. Uh, so no priority, so that's really good, right? We, we can uh, definitely get rid of uh, this Lunala. I'm going to go for a Fire Punch onto it, just trying to break that Shadow Shield. Uh, <coughs> um i'm gonna actually thunder no let's fire punch it um fire punch is gonna do more damage uh we can click the astral brush here my goal is just to make it so uh shadow shield is never intact and if we can get a burn onto it right like um it will never have its shadow shield we're gonna finally see a max here this probably is gonna be the lunala um it could be it shouldn't be the ensign um it is going to be, yeah, it is going to be that Lunala. I'm not worried about it uh, because as long as the Shadow Shield is broken, we will just be able to, to clean it up very easily with Zacian. So um, just foddering here, uh, we will probably lose our uh, Calyrex as we, I mean, that's that's still really good damage through a Shadow Shield, um, right? Like that's almost a, that would have been almost a knockout. Um, so we are going to see uh, Calyrex. We could see a Rock Fall onto the Groudon. Uh, no, we're going to see a straight Phantasm uh, going onto the Calyrex. I think that, that makes the most sense, right? <clears throat> You're just trying to um, get that KO there. And because, and, yeah, if, if they have, if Calyrex is one more turn, it's absolute uh, game over. Um, we will just be able to, to get a quick little Fire Punch, not trying to do much um, as Groudon. Going to lose some HP. No more Sun, so not the end of the world either. But like I said, at this point, um, we have six Behemoth Blades left, I think. Um, we have more than two, so even if they choose to, I mean, they'll, they'll need to get a little lucky, um, but if they want to waste their, their max turns, um, that's also fine, right? We can just uh, deal with them later, and now we are doing a a full full Zacian um, versus a Lunala at half. We can also bring out Talonflame with access to um, an Overheat, so that that's something that we have going for us, um, and we can just click Behemoth Blade here. And I feel very confident that uh, we should be able to uh, wrap this one up fairly nicely. But you know, we, we still wanna we still wanna wait. Um, there could be some some weird shenanigans um, happening, but uh, we're gonna see. Yeah, the, the Behemoth Blade gonna come out here uh, and should be more than enough to finish this Lunala, especially uh, still at plus one and no Shadow Shield. And it looks like, yep, that's gonna be the case. So uh, sad we didn't bring uh, Daddy Zarud this game, but you know, we we still uh, were able to, to put on a lot. And so with that, uh, let's just keep rocking and rolling and move to the next one. All right, battle number two, and it is a Zacian Calyrex Ice Kyogre Magirna with a Lipard and a uh, Yveltal. So this is uh, very Trick Room heavy, and unfortunately, we don't have a way of stopping that. Um, we do. Okay, we do. Um, I'm going to, I have to bring Talonflame here. Um, Talonflame Zacian with, um, Zerud is so bad. It's so bad. Um, uh, Zara Aura is not bad. 
Let's bring Zaraora. I really like this Pokemon. Um, like, what is a rude hit? It hits Kyogre, but I have Zaraora. Um, Calyrex is kind of bad here. Groudon. Uh, we'll bring Groudon for the Sun. So my plan, right, is if you go for uh, Lipard, trying to go for the the little. Whoop, what we can do, <clears throat> what we can do is we can um, just go for a dual wing beat, taking advantage of that Gale Wing's priority to move before their prankster uh, to have Lipard use dual wing beat, which uh, is a little bit risky. But okay, we're gonna see Lipard Magirna, so I I need to target into the Lipard, um, unfortunately, to stop uh, Trick Room shenanigans. So I'm I hate giving Magirna a boost. Uh, but I think we have to, I think we have to, um, like we have to dual wing beat into this live part as well as go for, um, a behemoth blade onto it. Just because, like I said, if they go for the trick room shenanigans, we're in bad shape. Um, yeah, we, yeah. If they go for trick room, we're, we're in bad shape. Uh, we're going to see just a straight fake out onto the Zacian. Uh, I really don't like that as we will be able to at least... Uh, get really good damage onto this life heart as they're going to manually set up Trick Room. So, uh, shout out to my opponent for recognizing what to do here. Um, so, what we want to do... I don't want to... I, uh, I hate that. Um, we're going to just have to put on pressure onto this Magirna. Um, <clears throat> they're most likely going to Steel Spike. Um... Okay, they're most likely going to Steel Spike. We should be able to survive a hit. The issue now is Lipard is faster. Oh, Lipard is... You're going to fake tears into my Zacian. Yeah, we have no hope. That is now a plus two Magirna. Okay, let's think about this. Let's think about. Uh, we cannot. We probably can't do anything at this point. Um, I think we lose. I just. I genuinely think we cannot win at this point. Uh, which is fine. We should have protected our Zacian. Um. Oh, we 100% lose this game. Um, there, there is nothing we can do at this point. Um, we ha- uh, we, yeah, we can't KO Magirna. Um, yeah, we lose. We, we very, very, very much lose. Um, we can overheat and max Quake into, uh, the Magirna trying to pray that i mean we're praying that groudon can survive a plus two stab move from magirna as well as a glacial it's not happening it's just it's just not we're gonna lose um we're gonna lose pretty badly uh we at least ko'd something um so we 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 wait for the animation to ko as i respond to this text message um as Talonflame does live, so it's not all hope is lost, as the Steel Spike will KO my Groudon. Uh, maybe, yes, oh yeah, it's 100% going to KO my Groudon. Um, Mickey, you're not going to get to plus three. Okay, so here's our hope. Here is our hope. Um, we, we KO the Magirna with, okay, it, it is stab sun boosted. If we KO Magirna with Talonflame, right, we triple protect to stall out Trick Room. And then we sweep with, okay, it's not getting off, KOing. Um, we tried. We tried very, very much. Um, Zara Aura, do you have Protect? Zara Aura does not have Protect. Okay, so here's what we do, right? We figure out the Calyrex, KO the Magirna. 
We only get KOs with, or we only get critical hits with Talon Flame, right? This is this is our last chance. Fake out into the Calyrex, right? Magirna KOs Zara Aura. Okay, Zara Aura goes down. We critical hit the Magirna to knock it out. We critical hit the Calyrex to knock it out. Yeah, okay. Um, so we, we got rolled here. Um, we took a chance on turn one. I think my opponent uh, played it very well. They recognized um, they're out. Um, okay, get the KO. God, Talonflame is so terrible. Um, <laughs> okay, Magirna's max is over. So we can at least attempt to stall out Trick Room uh, and KO the Magirna. How many turns? There's one turn of Trick Room left. We go for the Protect. I want to at least KO Magirna. Um, <laughs> my opponent must be so bad. They're like, you've lost. Just accept it. Um, okay. New plan. New game plan. We keep protecting for six turns in a row. Stall out the Glacial Lance. Calyrex then has no way of hitting us. That lets us solo the team. We'll stall out the second Trick Room. That's inevitably going to go up. And then we get the win. Uh, okay, we're, we're getting there. We need five more. Five more and... Oh, they're not even going for the Dazzling Gleam. Okay. Okay, so we, we need to stall out the Glacial Lance. <clears throat> we stall out the Glacial Lance PP. So they they only have high horsepower. That lets us single target into the left slot which we can KO at this point, thanks to um, its HP. We're going to fail the triple. So unfortunately, we're going to lose. Um, so overall, yeah, my opponent um, recognized their out turn one. Um, they they played into it as best they can. We at least don't get 4 owed, which was never going to be the case. Um, but yeah, I think, yeah, they, they played it very well. Um, just a uh, huge respect to them for that. Uh, and yeah, with that, let's just, uh, keep rocking and rolling and play one more. All right. Last battle of the day. And it is Grimmsnarl, Kyogre, Indeedee, Zacian with Zygarde and Shedinja. So, um, huge shout out to Nino for that one. Uh, what do we want to do here? I think, okay. I think Zarud is actually really good here. Uh, I'm going to lead Talonflame and I'm going to lead, what is there, Aura? Zara Aura does have ways of dealing with uh, Shed, so I'm going to bring that. Um, I want Zarud here, and then I probably need Groudon in the back. Uh... Do I want Zacian or do I want Groudon? Or do I want Calyrex? All tempting options. Uh, let's bring Calyrex. So my thought process here is going for a fake out in a tailwind. Um, we can then start doing speed control. We can go for things like snarl. Um, I don't. I mean, I don't expect my opponent to bring shit into here. Um, one thing to be really weary of is if this uh, Zygarde just sets up in my face, uh, especially because we don't have Zacian. Uh, so that's that's really scary. Uh, we will just see the the Kyogre come out here. Um, we do have access to, we can pivot into Groudon if we want. Um, I would actually rather set up um, the the Tailwind though, just because I think it's going to be more uh, beneficial. So I'm going to set up a Tailwind uh, and go for a... I don't know what, okay, I don't know what's going to do more. Um, a Snarl, I could just fake out. I'm going to figure out into the Kyogre. I'm going to say you're going to Water Spout. Um, they're going to max. Okay, perfect. You did not max it. Um, we love that. That's a great, great start. Um, fake out. Going to come out into the Zera Aura. Popping my Balloon. Uh, that's totally fine with me, right? I just want to get damage um, onto this Kyogre at this point. Um, so we can dual wing beat it and then go for an Electroweb. I'm sorry if you can hear the motorcycles in the background. I don't know if they're going to come out. Um, but they're very, very loud. Uh, this way, right, we're, we're just trying to reduce the amount of damage that the Water Spout is going to do. So if we can do that, I think we're in great shape. I do ideally want Talonflame to go down, though, uh, with Zara Aura staying alive, because I really want to bring bring out 
uh, Zarude to get it boosted up a little bit. And that's really good damage, right? We're going to bring this Kyogre, uh, if we hit the Electro Web, under half, as we will see the trick come out. Uh, it looks like going into the Talon Flame, um, Zara, or going to get the Iron Ball, but due to its just high base speed, right, we we're still going to be really fast, bringing that Kyogre very, very low, um, and getting the Grimmsnarl, right, like, down as well. Um, and now at this point, we, we should be in a good position to probably both of these should survive the Water Spout. Um, Talonflame does not because it's terrible. Um, that's not true. Talonflame is doing its best. Uh, and we love Talonflame for that. Uh, I'm going to bring out Zarud here, right? Uh, you could try and trick away my item to say, hey, I'm going to give you no item. Uh, in which case you get an Assault Vest. And I, uh, really would love that. So we're going to go, um, for the max overgrowth onto this Kyogre. And we're just going to hit it with a coaching. Um, I know that, uh, we will move after. But this coaching boost could be really important, especially if there's a Zacian in the back. Um, so that can help out. I'm really, really hoping for... Um, uh, oh, ooh, ooh, uh, oh, God. Grimstar will probably a Spirit Break, um, which is super effective in a Zarud. We're going to see the Kyogre withdraw, probably uh, into Zacian. Um, that's fine with me question mark um we're gonna see the okay we're gonna see a double switch here uh so my opponent is gonna reveal their fourth which is going to be that shedinja um and so we can actually just double dark type uh the subsequent turn right we can go for a snarl uh we can just go for a snarl actually i think that's fine um darkness zarud is dark type right it is so uh I actually just don't hate going for a darkness into the Zacian slot, uh, and then we can snarl the subsequent turn. So we will just be able to fire off, unfortunately, an overgrowth. Going to give the Zacian some, some recovery back. Um, still doing actually a pretty decent chip, uh, more than I expected. So we can, like I said, just go for the darkness the subsequent turn. That way, if you want to try and do some shenanigans, right, we can, um, we can at least, like, take some chip. We can go for it. A snarl. Mm. I'm gonna go for a darkness and a. Uh, I'm gonna go for a darkness and a snarl. I think it, it, it's fine overall. Um, so we can click darkness. I'm gonna go into the Zacian, uh, and I'm gonna go for another coaching on the Zarud, hoping that we can take um, some hits from the Zacian. What I'm really, really hoping for is it's a slow enough Zacian where we can. Um, what's it called? Get our damage off first. Um, the issue, though, is they still have Grimstar and Kyogre in the back. Um, ally switch, right? Not going to matter here. Uh, and if you uh, let us keep getting up coachings, I think that that's really good for us. We will see the Zacian going for a Protect. So potentially, I'm guessing a uh, Shedinja Will-O-Wisp. Uh, as they will... Okay, perfect. They're going to go for the ally switch. So overall, just like an incredible turn, right? We we get Zarud boosted. Um, and we will fire off a Max Darkness into the Shedinja, which is also huge not goggle or it is goggles not focus sash which means we're picking up this knockout we're going to get Z daddy zarud up to plus two like absolutely look at this daddy here like uh with the dad outfit too uh we love it uh plus two right we we now uh are in a pretty good position kyogre definitely going to get one shot i think we want to try to uh set up an electro web if we can just because of the fact that uh, we do have Groudon in the back, right? And we want to make sure Groudon outspeeds um, Zacian. So Kyogre going to come out here. I'm fine to um, click a Darkness into it and then go for uh, the Electroweb. Also important note is Electroweb, right, is uh, a special type attack. So we will be able to uh, use that to, to hopefully like get some extra damage onto things. Uh, like I said, I just want to get Zacian in range of Groudon. Um, as we will see the Kyogre go for a max here, we could see a max guard. Um, and if that's the case, that's, I think, fine. Um, Zarud should outspeed Kyogre. Um, so that's huge, right? We could see a Protect and a Blade into my um, Daddy Zarud, which I think is fine, right? We get the Electro Web off, which will be huge. Um, we're going to just see a straight Sacred Sword. Um, that's a, that's a way to ignore, um, all of my boosts. Max Darkness going to come out. This should KO the Kyogre. Um, yeah, we're at plus two and it's stab. I don't know why I was worried. So Daddy's rude here. Just, just coming out and, and, and coming to play, right? 
Um, and now Zacian at minus two special defense. Uh, so this is going to be stab from the Zera Aura. So this should do a, a really big chunk here, right? Um, okay, it's not a really big chunk. It is a chunk. Um, Daddy Zuri probably going to go down to another Sacred Sword. But we will be able to uh, just pop back into Groudon, right? And go for those Precipice Blades. So that should should help us out. Um, yeah, okay. So we're I think we're fine. Uh, we will, unfortunately, go down to a, a Sacred Sword, right? Because of the fact that it ignores all of our boosts. Um, we will see the Grim Snarl come back out. Uh, I do want to just go for another Electro Web, uh, as well as just go for, um, let's Power Whip into the Grim Snarl and uh, just try and lower as much speed as we can. I know it doesn't matter on Grim Snarl, right? Because of the fact that um, there's nothing going for it. As the, the Fake Out gonna come out, um, Power Whip, perfect. We hit, I want to KO the Grim Snarl, please. Survey says yes, so that's great for us. Right, and so Daddy's a rude, gonna go down here most likely, but we do get a free switch in into the Groudon. Groudon being able to go for the single target fire punches, so absolutely putting in work, right? Getting rid of that Kyogre, getting rid of that uh, Grimstarl, getting rid of the Shedinja too. Like, this thing is just putting in work, and we love to see that. Uh, Mythicals are awesome, man. Um, oh, I don't have, um, <laughs> I thought I brought Groudon. Uh, Keller, okay, Keller says the same thing. Um, it's gonna click Astro Barrage and it's gonna be like Precipice Blades. Like what is what is Astro Barrage but Precipice Blades with better accuracy and better everything. Um, so Astro Barrage here and then we go for an Electro Web. Yeah, all Calyrex is 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 Kyogre Grab. So those are the matches. Uh, I had a lot of fun with this team. I think it, it just does some great stuff. Definitely make sure to check out the team creator below. Um, we will uh, start using some other teams as well. Hopefully we'll be getting some Spike Myth Cup um, stuff soon. So look forward to that. And with that, uh, until next time, I hope all of you are wonderful and I'll see you then.